Okay, so here's the precious. Um, they come this one side right here. Looking pretty good. And then the other side is on I went ahead and went with the 12 so shouldn't be really change much it should just be better progressive rates and stuff like that uh, all in Japanese cannot read that so yeah most important thing is the springs so the wheels is off right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this rag and go ahead and just clean up this dust that's on here so try to get rid of any grime or dust especially on the threads and stuff because what we're gonna be doing is removing this piece right here by like loosening it loosen all of this and that way we could go ahead and just bring the sh spring down and take it off all right so now that i have all up here cleaned up i didn't have to use no wd4 or anything like that uh the threads are all still good so the only thing right now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a these spanners. Actually, the spanners look a little bit worse than the actual shocks themselves. But I'm gonna get the biggest one and pretty much stick it right here, over here like that. And then I'm gonna use just mallet, just tap it that way, so that way I can get it loose off. So I already loosened these up already, but yeah, it should go like that in this fashion. And then you go ahead and use a smaller one here, knock it to the right, and then bam, that's loose also. So once that's all loose now, I'm gonna go ahead and tackle this bolt down here. So for that bolt right here, I already got a wrench on the 18 right here on the other end. So 18 here, and then I'm gonna use this and pretty much untap this bolt right here too with an 18 millimeter. So right here, we're just gonna go ahead and take off the top end link bolts, and that's a 15 millimeter bolt. Uh, yours might be a little bit different, but yeah, I'm just gonna zap this off right here. So once you get everything off right here, the first thing you wanna do is use a marker, permanent marker or whatever, and mark your spot. So that will tell pretty much where, so this will pretty much tell when you put it back together where to leave everything back. So I also like to measure it, so keep a measurement so that I know exactly where. Also with putting a mark on the here, right here, and on the need here. So when I'm putting everything back together, my ride height will be the same as it was before. All right then, with everything already loosened up and you got your shock tower outside the knuckle, so all you gotta do is just pretty much loosen all of this and I try to keep this all together. So loosen this, remember this part right here, the notches are up here at the top so this side up and then remove this and then this part and all that so everything is transferred over so we got everything lined up and pretty much swift side up and just gotta go in and stick it right back up and that's it do the whole reverse 